This is a quick demonstration of how you can download audio files to use in your Flash animations or in your Premiere movie video projects. And uh, we have a collection of audio websites that we keep under the audio tab. And you should take a look through here and see what you can find. The link is under downloading. Naturally, you can use a Google search to find them as well. And uh, I'm going to pick on just one of my favorites because it has a very wide selection of sound effects and music that can be used in your productions. So flashkit.com, if we went and took a visit to it, it's a little unusual in how it sets things up, but look up in the top right corner to see if you can find sound effects, or if you're looking for music, it stores those in a, under a link called Sound Loops, and it's a very specific kind of music file, but very, very useful. I'm going to go look under Sound Effects for now and show you how they have things set up. And under Sound Effects, they have categorized these things uh, very intelligently to make things very easy to find so that you can find very specific types of sounds that you might want to use. And they'll also give you a little preview icon here. When you click this button, you'll hear the sound effect, get a little preview of it and decide if that's the one that you want. When you have decided it's what you want, you can't download it from this screen. In this particular website, this is again flashkit.com, they hide the download under the name of the file. So look under the link, in this case it was splash, and then go look for the download link. And a lot of these websites will just say download this file. When you see it, you can uh, double check to see that this is going to download properly by a right mouse click and a save link as using Google Chrome. And if it seems to be taking the file as an MP3, you know you've done the right thing. Choose the location where you'd like to save it. Note the name of the file that it's going to save. Hit your save button and the file is there. If you want to go check it out later, you can open up that particular oops. You can open up that uh, particular folder, find the file, double click it and see if it plays well for you. But uh, this is all there is to getting the files from the internet and onto your server space so that you can use them in your productions. Good luck, let's see what you can do.